All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are asked to solve this equation, 2y squared minus 3y minus 2 equals 0, by using the quadratic formula. Now, before you can use the quadratic formula, the equation has to be in standard form. So, the right-hand side, or one side should be equal to 0. This should be in descending power order, which it is, and the leading coefficient should be positive, which it is. Before I start the quadratic formula, I like to write down a, my leading coefficient is a 2, b, my middle coefficient is a negative 3, and c is my constant, which is a negative 2. Okay? So write down a, b, and c. When I plug into the formula, my answer here is not x, it's y equals, I like you to draw the bar, all, the division bar all the way across. And in the numerator, we have the opposite of b. So that would be the opposite of negative 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, negative 3, quantity squared, minus 4. That's always part of the formula. Then I put in a, which is 2. And then I put in c, which is negative 2. And this is all divided by 2 times, and I put in a. Okay? Opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This 2 and that negative 4 are part of the formula permanently. Everything else gets plugged in, and what you plug in should go in parens. y equals, we have a long division bar. 4 is on the bottom, because that's 2 times 2. Opposite of negative 3 is a positive 3. Plus or minus the square root of. Negative 3 quantity squared is 9. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, times negative 2 is a positive 16. So I have y equals... 3 plus or minus the square root of 25 all over 4. Now, that is actually, this of course is 5, so one of my answers is 3 plus 5 over 4. Okay, that's one possibility for y. Again, the square root of 25 was 5. If I read it through the plus, that's 3 plus 5 over 4. The other answer is 3 minus 5 over 4. All right, 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So one answer for y is 2. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Negative 2 divided by 4 is a negative 1 half. So my solutions for this equation are 2 and negative 1 half. y equals 2, y equals negative 1 half, and we did that by using the quadratic formula.